Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be talking about my new project, a mini cluster with two Raspberry Pis running Home Assistant in high availability and redundant hardware. These are the key features of my project. NIC bonding. This means that I added an additional network interface to my Raspberries, so that if one fails or a cable gets disconnected, the other one takes over and the network connection is never interrupted. MariaDB Galera Cluster Database running in multi-master mode. If one node fails the other one is still available. This is used for the Home Assistant Recorder. The actual cluster software is based on the Pacemaker stack with CoroSync and PCS as Cluster Manager. An additional service used to synchronize the Home Assistant profile across the two nodes. A virtual IP address managed by VRRP protocol. All Home Assistant clients, including mobile phones app are pointing to that IP address, so that they are not aware of which node is actually providing the service. But let's get started and see the cluster in action. The Home Assistant process is currently running on node A. To demonstrate the NIC bonding redundancy, I put a continuous ping to node A and try to unplug the cables, one by one. The Home Assistant web client won't notice that we are disconnecting the LAN cables. Now both network interfaces are up. Interface 0 is now down, because its cable has been unplugged, but the node is still connected through Interface 1. Now interface 1 is down, but interface 0 has returned to up state. During cable's disconnection, the node never lost the connection, and the web client did not notice anything. Now we are going to simulate a failover, from node A to node B. But before that, let's have a look of the current cluster status. Both node A and B are showing online and all resources, including Home Assistant, are started on node A. At this time, the virtual IP address is owned by node A. Notice that the Home Assistant web client is actually showing the IP address of node A ending in 51. 
even though the web browser is pointed to the address howberry.lan which resolves to the virtual IP address, ending in 50. The database MariaDB Galera cluster is running on both nodes. Now it's time to shut down node A. Pay attention to the Home Assistant web client. The web client is showing that the connection to the Home Assistant node is lost and it's trying to reconnect. In this moment the cluster is failing over all services to node B. This takes a few seconds. Node A is now down. It has stopped pinging. The failover to node B is now complete. Notice that the Home Assistant web client has restored the connection to the node and is now showing the IP address of node B ending in 52. In the cluster status, node A is now showing offline. The Galera cluster size is now equal to 1 because only node B is alive. Now we will be restarting node A by recycling the power to the Raspberry Pi. The node A is now up, and the cluster is showing both nodes online, but all resources continue to be started on node B. The Galera cluster size has now returned equal to 2, because both nodes are now online and synchronized. Now we are going to put node B into standby mode, in order to force the cluster to move all resources back to node A. The web client has lost the connection and it's trying to reconnect. Now the failover is complete. Notice that the IP address in the web client is the one of node A.
In the Home Assistant history we see all the IP address changes. Thanks for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.